It has been nearly 40 hours now, and the manhunt is still on for the ex Baltimore County police officer accused of abducting his two young daughters in Pennsylvania. This happened just across the Maryland line in York. As you can imagine, with every passing hour, this search becomes more desperate. And this morning, police and the girl's mother plead for help. WJZ has brought you every development in this case, and we are once again your only local station in York right now. That's where we find Rachel Minotov. She's live outside the police station where they they will give an update, Rachel, this morning, a little later. Tim, that's exactly right. In just a couple of hours, we're expecting to hear from York police about their search efforts. They're also working with state and federal authorities to find the girls and their father, Robert Vicosa. And if you take a look at your screen, we have a picture of the man that people that police are looking for. That's Robert Vicosa, who police say is armed and dangerous. And on the right are his two daughters, Amina and Gianna Vicosa. Investigators say this all started earlier this week when he terrorized his estranged wife for hours. Hours at gunpoint. It happened at her home in Windsor Township, right outside of York, Pennsylvania. Police say Vicosa eventually took off with the girls. During a press conference, police relayed a message from their heartbroken mother. She says she needs her girls home and is pleading for their safe return. And investigators believe Vicosa is being helped by a friend and current Baltimore County Police Sergeant Tia Bynum. They say Vicosa's phone pinged at her house and she was initially not cooperating with the investigation and then vanished. So police say Vicosa and his girls could be in her Lexus sedan. They, uh, the Baltimore County Police Department tells us that Bynum has been suspended and her police powers revoked, but she has not been charged with any crime. Live in York County, Pennsylvania, I'm Rachel Menatoff for WJZ. Rachel, thank you. And now police say besides holding the girl's mother captive, Vicosa also held a second woman at gunpoint. That is the last time the girls were seen in the Hudson Road area of Red Lion in York County. In a stunning interview, that woman speaks to Annie Rose Ramos and shares what it was like coming face to face with Vicosa. He comes out with a towel wrapped around him. And a gun on me. Coming face to face with Robert Vicosa after this woman says he walked out of her camper at her home in York County's Felton neighborhood Tuesday morning. She hears a voice, she turns to her right, coming out of the camper is a black male with a towel around his waist, and he puts a gun in her face and tells her that uh, he needs her car, he needs her to find rope to tie her up with. He had the daughters come out. The woman wishes to remain anonymous. She says he pointed a gun at her and she feared for her life. Take my money. Take, take the car keys, just leave, just leave, just leave me alone. But Vicosa allegedly said he wanted something else. But I just want warm clothes and for the girls to get warm. The oldest one didn't, have, didn't even have socks on. She was barefoot. She says she brought them inside where Vicosa sat down near a heater and hid his gun underneath a blanket while the woman tried to put the girls at ease. So I had cartoons on for them. They didn't say nothing. Then she claims Vicosa started looking for his phone. He needed to get in touch with someone to pick him up. His phone was in his car. His car was in a nearby creek where it crashed. The woman says she told Vicosa to go get it while she waited with the girls. I said, is your daddy going to hurt me? And they said, no, my daddy's nice. While he was outside, the woman says she got her shotgun and told the girls to wait for their father on the porch. I shut the door and locked it and went upstairs with my shotgun. Vicosa tried to get back in her home, but after a few minutes, he left with the girls, his gun, and this woman's phone and gray VW that he eventually abandoned nearby. The woman messaged her son on Facebook. I said, help me, help me. And some man was here holding me hostage. Annie Rose Ramos for WJZ.